Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your daily Gwent. It's a cold Canadian rainy morning. I got my hot coffee. I hope you do too. Today, inspired by pretty much the, the trouncing that we got with our last Scoia's Hill deck, as well as the interesting control uh, Francesca deck that we faced off against, I kind of took my hand at building a similar deck. The uh, If you watched that video, the Francesca that we were fighting against ran something pretty much completely different, but the, the bones are here. They were running like Epidemic and a few other weird choices, and that might ultimately end up being better. But I will show you what we are running. For golds, we got Drought. It's just, it's good. It's a good thing to chuck down early in a round. It either forces their hand to clear that weather or to suffer the consequences. We got Yorvith. I he was my last gold to craft, so he's here. Don't worry about it. He's a good control choice. He can he can shut down some some plays with Henselt and some others. I just wanted to put him in here. Don't don't judge me, okay? We got Zoltan Shiva. He's so strong and kind of overtuned right now. He can move our units. He can move enemy units to set up for good plays, spread them out for drought, perhaps, or more often than not, bring them together for Hailstorm. We got Saskia, which is maybe a weird choice for control, but I like the fact that she's just a 10-point body that will help us get what we need in our hands. Because we are running some kind of weird things for silvers we got hailstorm of course it's strong right now it's it's good i like it we're running scorch you can't beat scorching opponents like game we're not going to have huge units so scorch more often than not will be a good play we're running both morin and teruviel without um isengrim with the mulligan abilities that we have we should be able to get either one whenever we want them more often than not, Truviel is going to be used to bamboozle with our Hawker supports. But sometimes we'll use those guys to uh, power up Brienne. Just kind of depends what we want. Do we want to bamboozle or do we want to hit somebody real hard? Probably hit somebody real hard, but we'll see how it goes. In our bronze slots, we got some weird stuff going on. The only three of a kind that we have is the Elven Mercenary. I like deck thin. I like pulling out cards. They will be playing our Alzer's Thunders as well as our First Lights. First Light for both the Weather Clear, but more often than not, the Rally component. Because we're also running two Brigades, and they will do the Clear Weather for us. They can move people around. We got two Dwarven Mercenaries for similar things. Moving people around, buffing them up, moving enemies around as well. I did not think to include these guys right out the gate but as i added zoltan and hailstorm i was like yeah that seems to make sense originally i was gonna have a couple trappers or a couple archers that may prove to be the more prudent route to go but my thinking on it is that movement might be good we'll find out and then of course it is control again control mulligan we got a couple of rye head officers might be prudent to even have three of those guys and like one archer or trapper instead of the uh, the dwarven mercenaries here, but we'll find out. Also, we got Yavin. Forgot to mention him, but he's he's there. He's a good dude. Let's give it a go. Single player? No, no, no. Ranked match. I am hyped for Thronebreaker once it comes out, but for now, let's stick to multiplayer, shall we? Take a sip of that coffee. Always just on time for that match to begin. I Who will it be? Hey, it's not right of it. The chain is we do what broken. For now. So I imagine it's just it's a spy list. Because that's, that's how she goes. Alright. So we, we absolutely want those folks. Morin is a great first card to chuck down. We can get some points with the smuggler. I might mulligan away the brigade, because I'm not overly worried about weather. Yeah, that was that was largely a good choice, huh? Alright, I'm I'm pleased with this. The only halfway bad thing is that we got our mulligan boys. And we don't really want to mulligan anything. Not right now at least. But we do have 
some interesting options. So we'll see what he does, and we will we'll respond in kind. We'll see how she goes. It would have been good to go first, so we could chuck down more in, but I'm you know I'm fine to not do that. So Stefan Skellen in the Roach is a huge tempo play, and he may just pass on that. So we need to do as much in a single card. I am who I need to be. So let's. It's very possible that he wants to continue the round, but if he was going to dry pass on that, Yorvith was the only play really and truly that we had we could have done a uh, right head officer into saskia which would have been a ton of points now uh, he may again just play cancerella and pass i'm okay with going down one card Boy, if my coins to in this situation the, uh, the three points that is given to Brienne is actually six points because she gets buffed up by three and the enemy loses an additional three. And right out the gate here, we're just going to do that. He'll probably pass. He's not going to pass. I'm absolutely incorrect. Hmm. Let's check down Morin. And he will assume it's true, yeah, perhaps. Or not. We'll see. Bit of a bit of a weird deck already. This this is very much in experiment mode. We're we're a few days before a new patch preview. People are tired of the meta. And they're getting a little they're getting a little funky with it. I don't really want to chuck Drought down right this early, but it would win the match for us, or win the round for us. You know what? I'm going to pass, actually. I'm going to pass. We are up by a fair amount here, nearly 20 points. Cynthia did not do it for him, so he's going down two points. I was expecting a Cynthia play, and I think he was expecting it to win it for him. I'm glad my math checked out, because I, <laughs> I was not confident with that one at all. Couldn't be sure if he had the golem. Luckily, I, I assumed he did. <laughs> oh, that was, that was actually scary. So he went down to five cards. He's keeping um, one one boy here, but it's going down to six. So we can play an Elven Mercenary, Alzer's Thunder it, and that's that's that, right? I'm not concerned at all. He's probably gonna dry pass. Yeah. So the worst thing that could happen here would be not drawing Alzer's Thunder. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy did. the weather while we still can. And there you go. We're still up one guard. We do have to go first, but eh, whatever. Whatever. Yaven. Not what I want, but what I need, actually. So that's great. I am going to chuck away one of the mercenaries just to kind of see what we get. So that's fine. So Yaven's a lovely, lovely card to have, because now we have a 16 point uh, officer, and we've got Hailstorm. <laughs> I am very happy about that. My prescription, a bit of blood letting. Is he just going to grab his emissaries back? No. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Let's check out Drought, just right at the gate. He either has to respond to it immediately or start playing around it and row stacking, which is something that we are interested in. He's probably got some form of weather clear. But maybe not. Maybe not. If he's running clear skies, he should definitely steal the mercenary. And he is going to? Maybe? 
I'm not I'm not sure. All right, he's going to. So he's probably got clear skies. Everything all right? No. Well, then why did you do that? That is perplexing, but that's okay. So since he has not played weather yet, I am going to go ahead and mulligan Riot! away the Ryhead Brigade. And we got Yaven again. In a case like this, Yaven's not actually bad to have. We could chuck him on one of these rows. He'll probably get roasted down pretty quickly. Depends what Calvi Kaher kind of grabs here. Okay, that's fine. That is that is no problem. Alright, so let's chuck Yaven at there. Coexistence. No such Choose which to keep. I think we definitely want to keep the Dwarven Mercenary. It's just straight up more value than Alger's Thunder. And I'm not too concerned about Alger's Thunder right now. I cast myself upon thy mercy. Yeah, you can you can get more emissaries. That bothers me not. Falling behind. He's drawn like his whole deck here. As good as dead in that lot. Yeah, it doesn't do too, too much damage to us. All right. <clears throat> so I think we play Saskia, but we may only mull mulligan one card. No, we'll mulligan both of these boys, and for them. I would very much like an Elven Mercenary and an Elven Mercenary. Yep. So now we'll get a Thunder and a First Light. So we'll get overall way more value than what those guys are worth just by themselves. And we could get, you know, one of them back. All right, we got a Joachim coming up. Ooh, there's his clear skies. There's his clear skies. Knew it was somewhere in there. And that's fine. Honestly, that is that is not an issue. Because soon we will Zoltan into the back row and make the great things coming. happen. Let's enjoy the weather. First light, we still can. no problem. Rally. We got the brigade. Uh, chuck it here this and pull Yaven back. Which your kind dies. Yeah, the movement's real good. Real, real good. Head up! So I'm happy to see that guy come down, because he's a great Alzer's Thunder target, and that's pretty much definitely what we're going to pick. Yeah. The storm is coming. Let's, Let's enjoy just the go ahead and zap him there. No problem. If not by strength, then by Infiltrator strength. bothers me literally not at all. So we want to play Zoltan right here. Grab this boy, grab this boy, and uh, we'll, we'll move the mercenary back here too. Why not? Why not? So he's got 53 power up there. Hailstorm is going to rock his world. I don't care that he's hitting me for 16 there because this is going to do so much. <laughs> yeah. Hailstorm is disgusting. I enjoy it when it works out. That was actually a pretty fun game. We fought against a little bit of a different take on the, the Calviot Spy deck, what with the Stefan into Roach and the Cynthia Golem. Big, big tempo. I like that idea, actually. Whoever made that deck, whether it was them or they, they saw it online, kudos to you. It's a cool idea. I like I the big tempo plays. Take a sip of that coffee. Sink into the realization that we can never escape Radovid. Either we are playing him or we are fighting him. It is our lot in life. So right out the gate, we don't have any of our uh, mulligan boys. We got one. That's good. Want to probably use it on Yaven. So strong. I really did like having Yaven in the third round there. It gives you the last say. A lot of people have been doing that, from what I understand on the pro ladder. So, probably something to that. It's good to have card advantage, but sometimes it's better to have the last say. And with how strong a lot of cards are, 12 strength is not probably going to make or break you, right? Alright, mulligan completed. Let's just chuck 
more I know, like, first thing? I don't see why not. What'll it be? If he has things that uh, buff up and do a bunch of different chains, or just really anything that he could play. Morin's, Morin's just good. It's just good. It's also possible that he's got, you know, something stronger than five, like uh, those siege supports that give everybody plus one, and if you're a machine, plus one, plus three armor. They are, I believe, six right out the gate. That'd be a good play. Uh-oh. Yeah, there Trouble you go. Approaches. There you go. Venom should do the trick. All right, let's go ahead Blood and, neck ends. and do Simidian this stuff. So we got clear skies, that's fine. It's fine for a rally. Doesn't bother me. We're in a very strong lead right now. 1 to 23. Depending on what he does, we may pass. But... It's hard to say. It's hard to say. If he's going to try to go for the long con and play another one of those guys, probably want to pass gain at least one card advantage if not two which is always the dream having that two card advantage pretty much wins the game you stand before royal majesty ah stannis you can try to win them all but you won't okay so in this case we're gonna play it out and we're gonna use drought real early it's gonna get rid of that guy gonna do a little damage down here even if he clears it it's honestly giving us good value or at least decent value, just getting rid of the, uh, what are they? They're siege supports, that's right. What'll it be? He may not have a clear, a clear weather in this deck, actually. A lot, a lot, a lot of Stennis lists just don't run weather clears. Some will still run, uh, Death Mold. Death Mold is a very good card. But does he have it in hand? We'll find out. Seemingly no. Seemingly no. So now I think is a great time to play that mercenary. Strength, grab life. that Alzer's Thunder and just boom, roast that guy. How about that? Even if he's got Thunderbolt Potion, it's not gonna do him too much good. We're in a we're in a strong position right now. If he does, um, Give this guy armor back or even play another one. We'll probably just play the uh, Dwarven Mercenary on the Siege Row. Pull him back. Make his whole buffing thing moot. To the point where Drought will uh, do two damage. Because it'll be the only thing on the row. Depending on how it goes, of course. Mm, that's a great card to fight weather with. That's a great card to fight weather Long with. Live, et cetera, et cetera. Does not concern me too much to be completely honest Everything though because right. uh how about that yeah how about that what'll it be what'll it be he could have more of those and i'm out of thunders which would be great for him but i can still uh still move him around as All i see right. fit yeah, come on with that. That's that's fair. That's a good value. Let's just chuck uh, Truvial out here. She's currently ten value, and we're currently tied. Yeah, there you go. Lock bait, more or less. Would have been great if he didn't lock her, but as is, totally okay. All right, so let's pull Esco back here. Dread will do its thing. Keep getting Long that good value. Redanian Elite. That's a, that's a good card. That's a good card. So I think we play Francesca now. We mulligan away the first light. My folk have suffered much. What do we grab? We probably grab Saskia, honestly. Bran is a good grab too, but Saskia just gives us more control in general for the next round. And we may want to pass on this. He will be gaining 
five strength on his next turn and losing four. So we'll be getting cumulatively one. We'll, we'll see how she goes though. He may want to pass and just kind of take the card advantage. That would probably be a good call. By picking a Sasuke, I, I am kind of hedging our bets that we're gonna that we're gonna end the round one way or the other. Now that's interesting. That's very interesting. So if we pass, he loses two. He's down to twenty. He loses two. He's down to eighteen, and then he shoots back up to. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then we go down. So we lose with zero card advantage. But zero card disadvantage as well. Or we could play Zoltan and row stack ourselves. And I think we don't yes we do <laughs> all right boom rope finish if he's got hailstorm we're gonna we're gonna get bamboozled but otherwise oh it's it's a tough play honestly it's a tough play I probably shouldn't have went with Sasuke there. I should have grabbed uh, Brienne. She would have been eight and hit this guy probably for a ton, or even lowered the the poor flanking infantry that's left over. He does have Hellstorm. Ha cha cha. Ha cha cha. All right. Well, we can play Sasuke. It's thirteen points. I Mulligan the Scorch. No and grab what would we want to grab i mean probably just just an elven merc right it's really pushed us up against the ropes here i did not expect him to have ragnarug hailstorm we really played into his hands there and you know good good on him good job colade coletti well done a little jealous of your empty portrait looks nice it's clean Commander's Horn. I mean, I could pass right now, and he would lose only two, and we'd be tied going into the next round. Hmm. Have strength. No, let's let's win the first round, shall we? A uh, bit of a shame to draw that guy, but that's that's okay. He'll probably pass here, or just win the round. Yeah, it's it's a shame that we uh we got that guy. Pretty much any other bronze would have been better. <laughs> I was hoping for um, a mercenary, or just the guy that clears skies and moves. That was that was the dream, the brigade. For the king! Oh, there you go. There you go. He won the first round. We're both out of cards. That's a hard knock life for us, especially. Dang. Maybe I should have clear skies? I don't know. It's tricky. It's tricky. Let's see. We got a hawker support and a hawker support. I'm going to have to mulligan one of those. <laughs> We, if we got a hawker support and a brand, that would have been lovely. That is not the case. His play is either to, like, if he's got huge points, just win. Or, uh, dry pass. He doesn't know what we have, of course. So, dry passing is, yeah, probably the more lucrative option. You'll regret your mom ever squirted you out. Alright. We gotta draw real well we gotta draw real real well 
We played ourselves in this game. We absolutely played ourselves. Yorvith is pretty good. Is it enough? Uh, probably not, but it's pretty good. So we've got 18 raw stats plus seven damage to lay down. We gotta this chuck this guy down first. I get no movement out of it, but that's dies. fine. PFI is decent. You won't. It's decent. Spotty! We miss one point off of it. He can almost certainly make up the uh, the 14 points between us right now. I'm a medic. I've been yeah, there's there's Shaney and Stennis. Goodbye. We played ourselves. We learned something about this deck. We learned to not do what we did. You don't hedge your bet with Saskia for the next round. Play to win the round that you're in. Should have grabbed Brand. Should have grabbed anything else. We did get screwed with the um, with the rally at the end there. Any other bronze would have won it for us, but that's okay. Gwent's My RNG is pretty much. tiny, and you can influence it heartily or heavily. All right, we're against an Iridin. Iridin. We got Sasuke, we got Zoln, we got Teruvio. We got a pretty good hand. I am going to chuck out the Alzer's Thunder. Not the first light. I'm actually going to keep the first light. We drew Bran, great with the Smuggler. Let's... Chuck out the Mercenary. Yavin's good. All right, I'm happy with this. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So we go first. Our turn is very simple then. We we'll play the Hawker Support, and we say, hello, Bran. One of my favorite cards in the game, to be honest. Just a straightforward but very cool effect. I like it a lot. Look at that Woodland Spirit right at the gate, huh? It's a, it's a big turn. Right, I was going to say let's just play him, clear the weather, but that's not quite how that's going to work, huh? All the same, we are going to play him. We're gonna say, uh, Yavin, you gotta go. Then we'll play him next turn. There you go. These guys are so strong. <laughs> Alright, so we'll clear the weather. And, uh, let's just move... I don't know, move, move Gels up there. We're probably gonna play Drought. Depending on what he does, if he passes, obviously we're not going to play Drought, but Drought would be lovely just to kill some of his carryover and it'd just be kind of annoying. We'll do Frost on the back row. Honestly bothers me not. Get Droughted. It's not going to do a ton of damage, but it's, it's going to be annoying for him. If he passes right here. It's gonna be annoying for us, There'll but I'm, yeah, to I'm gonna say I'm guessing that he has a vested interest in winning this round. That seems to be the case. All right, let us. Oh my God, there is an earwig. Ooh, hold, hold on, hold on. Sorry about that, that was disgusting. Earwigs are gross creatures and I hate them. Uh, let's go ahead and, and get that brand value right at the gate. Uh, we're in not a good spot. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> For that very reason, yeah. So you play the Merc right here, Everything actually. All right. Then you play Alzer's Thunder right there. And we have, how many harpies do you have? Oh my God. What? Wow. No. How? Wow, dude.
going three cards down. Dude. This is not this is not good. This is really bad. I don't wanna blame outside forces, but earwig freaked me out a little bit. Crawling down a curtain. Disgusting. If you don't have earwigs where you live, you are fortunate. Unless you have cockroaches, those are those are probably worse. Ugh. Dislike. Nice. Okay. We got all of our golds. We're in a horrendous position here. He'll probably just lay down a harpy, get carry over. What's up with the with the weird harpy decks though? I don't I don't like it. I didn't expect it. It it threw me for a loop. Especially with Iridan as the leader, right? Bizarre. Alright, so he's got a carry over. Is there another harpy coming out of his deck? I don't know. I don't know what to expect in this topsy-turvy mixed-up world. Riot Officer is interesting. We'll keep it. We could theoretically mulligan Saskia. And then draw her back if we wanted her. But I think we want to mulligan her regardless. And then maybe mulligan... Um, what, what would we want to mulligan out of these? I don't like Saskia in this deck. I've decided we actually have too much mulligan. We, we almost have too many options. You know, a lot of the cards that we have, we, we don't want to replace a lot of the time. Maybe it's just anecdotal. But that, that seems to be holding true. Blood and neck ends. But we'll Civilian go ahead and do blood. that. We're gonna we're gonna an Elven Mercenary, which is not bad, but it's a good target for Francesca actually. Yeah, so maybe we don't even really need as much deck thinning as I have in this, given the Mulligan aspect. This this might be a deck that we refine and we do another I video on, because I I like what's going on with it. I like it a lot. But I definitely maybe didn't build it as as right as it could we be. We do what must be done. Okay, so you uh you mulligan that away. And you gotta you gotta grab Hailstorm. You gotta. Zoltan Hailstorm, it's it's just it's too good. It's what we need. We're so, so, so far behind right now. Especially with Iris. Dude's running Harpy Iris. It's crazy. It's a cool deck. You know, I'm happy to see the innovation, but ugh. This, this is rough. This is very rough. Let's just chuck Morin down. So he's anticipating iris to that this turn so maybe he's playing something that that rallies so morin can kill it and he'll get a little less value out of iris perhaps or not Mother will be proud. Seem, seems like not is the case here oh buddy all right goodbye iris goodbye iris Just chuck Truvial down here. So we're probably going to Zoltan onto the Cedro. Oh man, oh man. We're just getting demolished here. Just just wrecked. In the worst way possible. I got a little rattled IRL. That's my own problem. I'm enjoying this deck a lot. How many drowners does this dude have? 800 million? Jesus.
You know what? Maybe we should Double just chase. save our own skin here. I don't even... I don't know. I don't know. Good, you know, well played by by this guy. This is a hell of a deck. We're gonna change the title of the series to Morning Gwen. To Mitchell gets wrecked by cool decks and then tries to rebuild them poorly. Yeah, if he didn't have three cards up on us, we definitely have the point value on the board right now to win. But that that doesn't mean too much, does it? Don't don't rope me. You you got me on the ropes. You don't you don't gotta rope me, dude. Yeah. Sure. Alright, that's game. Sorry for the, the poor performance there. Did not necessarily show this deck off as well as I could have. I think we are gonna tweak this deck and come right back tomorrow. And you know what? Let me know if you don't like that idea. I'm still going to do it this time, but, you know, maybe in the future you hate seeing the same deck twice in a row. Let me know. If you like that idea, also let me know. And if you got suggestions for, you know, maybe what we should change, let me know. I like hearing from you. Anyway, I had a good morning. I promise I'm not salty despite maybe sounding like it. We got our butts thoroughly kicked. We fought some cool decks. I had a great time doing it. My coffee's getting a little cold. I'm going to heat it up. Make sure there's no more earwigs in my curtains. I hope your coffee stays warm and you have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.